it's time to talk about Rush Limbaugh. Uh, today is March 5th, and he has just uh, gone on the air with his ridiculous castigation of, uh, of the lawyer, the Georgetown lawyer, young woman, 30 years old, Fluke, F-L-U-K-E, I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name, but uh, I don't remember what her first name was, and she was attempting either to get Georgetown to pay for contraceptive Perception pills or devices, and, and Rush Limbaugh just went ballistic on uh, on his show, and really just was mean, nasty to her, nasty and insulting, and made her a star. As a result, made her famous. But uh, but he was obnoxious. And he gave you a little peek into Rush Limbaugh's brain. Uh, he operates on a very strange level. I mean, he, he plays the system perfectly. Makes a ton of money from it. And, uh... to say. I mean, I, I, I'm at a loss to understand. I, I, I know I'm not. He's just a sort of a, a shallow, bigoted, emotional speaker who uh, keeps who keeps uh, saying things that he knows a certain ridiculous element of this country will go for. And he's got them in his pocket. He has somehow or other managed to take over the Republican Party. And, uh, I mean, he is, he really is the leader of the Republican Party, the de facto leader of the Republican Party. Nobody else is. Who else is? Nobody. Karl Rove. So, um, and he's just says nasty things. He seems very mean-spirited. He, he, he's very selfish. He seems very selfish. And he promotes great selfishness. And, and rage. He says bad, nasty things about people. Very angry guy. I mean, why he would pick on Obama like that is... But why does he really do that? Does he really feel that way? I can't believe he really feels the way he does about things. I can't understand him. Is it his ignorance? Is it his lack of education that he's just really angry at anybody who has a real education, who's smarter than him? Has he been embarrassed, stood up, overlooked by people who are smarter, college degrees and things like that? Um, I mean, the thing, he said very silly things and stupid things. Very instant. I mean, things that just really gave, you know, talking about she should have sex and then we make a video of it so we all could watch it. Now, what kind of statement is that to make? Don't you have a brain in your head? I mean, doesn't that, doesn't that just tell the world where you spend your time and how little awareness you are of how, what, what it is you're saying? He's just, so, and of course, I mean, I, it wouldn't be a big deal except he's got so many people in this country following him and doing what he says and believing him. And he's got the Republican Party just with their hands tied behind their back. Now they can't do anything. The Republican Party stands for nothing. It stands for nothing. It's just nonsense. Every platform is just whatever. It's anti-Obama. It's so that they stand for getting Obama out and getting a white man in, getting a white Republican in, who they feel better about. 
and not some uppity, uh, liberal uh, black guy. What to make the matters worth? He's black. I mean, that's it's bad enough that he's smart and Harvard educated and all that, but he's black on top of all that. That's adding insult to injury, and that's what um, that seems to be what Rod Rod Stewart. What uh, Rush Limbaugh is all about. Inciting anger in, uh, in people who are not very independent thinkers. They need Rush to tell them how to think. And he does his best to tell them how to think. And he tells them how to think. And they believe it. Anyway. Anyway, he attacked this lawyer and I don't know I didn't really who she stands for Georgetown has something to do with Georgetown University I guess and even Georgetown University supported her even if they disagreed with her philosophy at least they're not stupid and of course they're Jesuits and they're a little bit smarter than the uh, uh, the run of the mill priests who are, who are I must say I've known them very well. They're not that smart. They're not very smart. They're not well educated. They're not very broad. They, they're very parochial and they're hung up on a lot of stuff, as you may have heard. And Rush is just like him. Rush is very successful. And he's, he's smart. Sure, Rush is smart. I mean, he's clever. And uh, he's a powerful guy, and he likes his power, and uh, I won't blame him. He doesn't like power. Everybody likes to be in power. Uh, and he, he, he has, bears a lot of responsibility for the, the divisiveness in Congress now. I, I think, I really think he does. I think a lot of it's his fault, because he's just encouraged too many people to be tea partiers. And a lot of the Tea Party people really don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get what they stand for. There always seems to be some big emotional issue going on underneath that is that they're expressing through this Tea Party deal. Anyway, uh, Rush Limbaugh is now uh, paying for his sins. And we will see how this works out. Meanwhile, the Knicks lost last night to, to uh, the Celtics in overtime. They played a good game. Uh, they didn't win. We'll see how much better they can get. And, uh, Yvonne Linz, Jeremy Linz, uh, Jeremy Lin did not play a great game. i worried everybody. Uh, so we'll see. I still think he's a very good ball player and they should stick with him. He's proven that already. So that's my uh, little uh, hope to New York.